Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Today I wanted to show you how to fire roll when it's 16 degrees out. That's a common question I've gotten over the years, will it still work in cold weather? And it actually is more difficult when it's cold like this, just because of the heat sinking that's going on. But um, I think internally on a fire roll, it is so hot on the inside. It might be a thousand degrees on the inside of a fire roll that it still works regardless of whether it's 50 degrees colder than usual, 80 degrees colder than usual. Wood ashes contain potassium carbonate. And when you add water to that, it turns that into lye, which is sodium hydroxide. I think it's the combination of the friction from the ashes and the chemical reaction of the lye on the inside that causes a wood ashes fire roll to ignite and be one of the best, probably the best fire roll that you can do. You might say to me, I never see you add water to those ashes to turn the potassium carbonate into sodium hydroxide. You got to remember now, everything that you're gonna be using for the exterior fibers has got a certain amount of moisture in it. And it's evident when you see me rolling it on the table because it always leaves like a condensate mark on the table. So I think indeed what's going on is always lie and the friction of wood ashes. Let's see if we can knock one out for you this morning. Half cotton ball. Quarter teaspoon of ashes on the inside, ashes on the bottom board. The ashes on the inside, of course, is for friction, and the ashes on the outside are for friction because the bottom board and the top board has to be able to grip this roll well enough to be able to drive it. So the ashes on the bottom board gets on the fire roll and transfers to the top board. I like to give it a few passes just to sort of tighten it up. And then I'll give it 10 or 12 rolls in one direction, turn it 180 degrees, 10 or 12 rolls to get the ignition. The reason, I, the reason I like to turn it over halfway is because my forward stroke tends to be harder than my return stroke. And that only makes this, this cotton fire roll harder and harder and harder. So I'm sure that there's times that I've gotten ignition but my fire roll was so hard, it snuffed it right out. So, let me show you how it works. Sixteen degrees. It didn't affect it at all, did it? All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.
let's give it a chance to cook and the next time I blow on it it should go to flames I think that technique works because you're displacing a lot of moisture ideally you'd want to let it just sit there and cook for like 30 seconds and then the next time you blow on it it should go right to flames We'll catch you on the next one. Check out my how to build a stainless hobo stove out of a three quart pot video. It'll be in the description and at the end of this video.